Hello everyone! The third video in the Coding Artemis Watch series is here. In this video, we'll show you how to create an amazing game called Gyro Saucer, in which you will play as a flying saucer that avoids obstacles in space. Thanks to the gyroscope inside your Artemis Watch, you will be able to move the flying saucer by simply tilting your watch. The gyroscope can determine the orientation of your watch, which we can use as input for this game. Now, let's quickly go over the last two block sections we'll use, which we haven't already used in the previous examples. The text section will allow us to write any kind of text we want on the display. And the gyroscope section will be used to track the current orientation of your watch. Great! Now before we begin, let's create a sprite for our character. Click on the three dots in the top right corner and select Sprite Editor from the drop-down menu. Now, click on the plus icon and put the following dimensions for your new sprite. 17 times 12 pixels. Let's draw. You can use the color picker to select the color you want and then use the paintbrush tool to place pixels of that color onto the grid. If you make a mistake, you can simply erase it with the eraser tool as shown here. The paint buckets tool can be used to fill in whole areas. And if you ever need to choose the same color you already used, the color dropper is a handy tool for that. Now it's time to draw our UFO. It doesn't matter if your UFO doesn't look the same as mine. It's only important that you set the same dimensions for the sprite. When you're satisfied with your drawing, type in UFO as the name of your sprite and click on the save button. Now we can close the sprite editor. Let's start coding. First, let's create all the variables we'll need for this example. Now we can define these variables at the start of our code as shown here. Next, we need to create a function for drawing the background. Inside this function, we'll only set the background color to black. Great! Now let's create another function for drawing the overlay. This function will be used to write the current score while the game is still running. It will also be used to write the final score in the reset message when the game is over.
We need another function for drawing the player. We'll define the position of the player using the player position variables we created earlier. Great! Now we need to define another function for measuring the orientation of your watch so that we can define the player's movement. After that, we need to use those values to calculate the player's position. Create another function and set it up as shown here. We'll also need some obstacles. The goal of the game will be to avoid them for as long as possible. This next function will be used to draw the obstacles and keep track of your score. You can set it up as shown here.
finally, this last function will be used to detect collisions between the player and obstacles. If the player touches an obstacle, the game is lost. To achieve that, add the following blocks. Great, now let's move on to the inputs. As we previously mentioned, you will control the flying saucer by tilting your watch. However, we still need to use a button to restart the game. We'll use the back button for that. Put the following blocks to set it up. Finally, let's add the loop forever block. Inside that block, we need to call all the functions we previously defined in the following order. Also, don't forget to include the scan buttons, push frame and sleep 20 milliseconds blocks to ensure proper code execution. We're done with coding. If your code looks like this, you are ready to click on the run button. Try tilting your watch to move the flying saucer. Avoid the obstacles for as long as possible to gain points. If you hit an obstacle, try again by pressing the back button. Congratulations and have fun with your new game. If you want to put the stock firmware back onto your device, you can simply go here and click on the restore firmware button. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more examples.